Welcome back to Sony with our new e-reader Wi-Fi. I'm going to go to the next page by hitting the arrow. The next page shows you at the very top on our network the public library. You're going to select public library and once you're there you can find a library. So you can simply enter the name, state, province, or zip code of that library or browse. For an example, we'll type in Toronto and see which libraries come up. So here you see a list of all the different libraries in the area. You can choose the one that you go to most, frequent, most frequently or the one that's closest to you. It doesn't really much matter as all the libraries have the same content from one large database. Once you've chosen your library, it'll bring you to the home page. Once you've chosen your library, you're going to go under Library Systems and touch Toronto Public Library. And here you can see all the featured ebooks. You can browse or search for certain books. We're going to hit Browse to see what books they have available. So because the e-reader does various different formats, you can do either Adobe EPUB or a PDF. If you scroll down, you can also choose by different genres. So I'm going to browse by ebooks. And I'll just choose fiction. So once you've seen all the books that are available, you'll see a few different options. You'll see at a wish list or place on hold. Your wish list is somewhat of a cart. It gives you a whole list of books that you've chosen that at some point you'd like to read. However, placing on hold means that someone at this current point time has this book out already. So if you would like to obtain a copy, you can place a book on hold and when one comes available, you'll be notified. So you'll see available copies as well as library copies. We'll go down to one that's already available. So when a book is available, it'll give you the option to add to cart. So once you've got a book in your cart and you're ready to check out, you just hit proceed to check out. Now then, if you haven't already logged in, this is your chance to do so. All you need to log in is your library card and your PIN number. You can choose for it to remember you on the device or not, depending if it's something that's being shared by many users or if it's your own personal unit. Once you've logged in, it'll automatically download the book to your e-reader and you can then use it for the certain amount of time indicated. Once the book has been expired, it'll, allow you the, it'll tell you the copyright's no longer available and you'll either have to re-download the book or place a hold if it's already been checked out. And that's how you get your books from the public library 